Let the meltdown begin. MMA meltdown on the Fight Network. I am Gabriel Morenci, and let's uh, do this thing as we pick up the pieces of uh, following the crime of the century, the so-called fight of the century. Well, you know what? We got a free fight uh, going down this Saturday night from Adelaide, and it's a damn good one. Mark Hunt and Myosik are throwing it down, and no reason to believe why, especially if Myosik wins, that he's not next in line, actually, for a title shot, because I guess... Cain Velasquez is eventually going to come back and fight, although I'll believe it when I see it as much as I love Cain. Guy's been off for, what, about 13 years, uh, seemingly, uh, right now. we got a deep uh, deep card this week, some entertaining uh, fights. The following week, man, Edgar and uh, Edgar and the California kids going to be off the hook. So we got some great uh, fights coming up. I look forward to breaking it down over the next uh, couple of weeks and months leading into that big, big, big Aldo and uh, Conor McGregor tells, which is really sort of the, the mega fight, UFC's mega fight, so to speak. Now, everybody was greatly disappointed after feeling as though they got ripped off this past Saturday night by Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. Well, these people are idiots. You know what? They went to, uh, they went to see Miles Davis, and they were expecting Metallica. You know, like, what the hell do you expect? Floyd Mayweather isn't Chris Lieben. He's not Mark Hunt. You know, and as, as Phil Greco told us last week, you want to see people get knocked out, then, hey, go to see a tough man competition. So I find it comical that the Johnny-come-latelys and the amateurs come out of the woodwork to tell us all that uh, boxing is dead, despite the fact that boxing's on, like, five national television networks every week. But what surprised me the most, and actually, you know, made me laugh the most, was seeing Lorenzo Fertitta complain about the fight. As Lorenzo Fertitta said, I spent big money on this fight. I ordered a steak. I got a salad. Well, Lorenzo, now you know how millions of UFC fans have felt over the last couple of years. Like, really, the UFC calling up boxing for a crappy card is like Burger King saying McDonald's food is not good for you. It's like, yeah, it isn't, but, like, should you guys be talking? Like, c come on, man. You just have to shut down the upper deck of the, the Bell Center in Montreal because the cards suck as hard as it does. You know, I love the irony because this guy, ooh, he actually paid for the fight, so he's pissed off. He's unhappy because he paid once for a fight, and it wasn't good. And the fact of the matter is, boxing's not dead, just as, yeah, the card in Montreal generally was a crap-ass card. It was still a lot of fun. We went there. It is what it is. If you have one bad Super Bowl, it doesn't mean the NFL is dead. You know, if the WrestleMania sucks, it doesn't mean wrestling is dead. It just means there's a lot of freaking idiots in the world. Gamblu's going to join me. We're going to break down a card from Australia next. We've got some great videos in a week. All that and more. MMA Meltdown on the Fight Network continues.